Welcome back to Toe Talks. Today we have a pretty cool episode talking about tools we use. Being in a world which is so reliant on hands and basically using our upper body it is a challenge to be someone without arms and hands. And so for those things that we cannot do with our feet, we have tools to figure out a way to do them. One of the biggest questions that people always ask me when I'm speaking is, how do you tie your hair in a ponytail? And it's essentially a one-handed ponytail maker. But for me, I use my feet. And the way it works is I have it loosened all the way out like this, put it around my head, and once it's on my head like a headband, then I use both feet to squeeze, one foot to squeeze down on the little button here, and the other foot to pull the slack and bring it all the way up and it puts my hair in a nice ponytail. It puts my hair up and it's wonderful. If I needed to have my hair up, say it's too hot or I wanna get my hair out of my face. And right here, speaking of shoes, I have some Vibrams. Vibrams are amazing in the sense that they have individual spots for your toes. So I feel like I'm somewhat barefoot. Mm -hmm. If I wanna be in a place where I have access to my toes, now you can't move your toes as easily as if you were barefoot, but it's the closest thing to being barefoot and protecting your feet at the same time. This is a pair of scissors specially designed for me when I was in preschool and kindergarten because, watch, you pull this top off, it has a spring in it, which allows you to cut without having to reopen it because the spring bounces it back up. So that's about everything that I have to show you. Are, do you have some tools to show me? I do have a couple of tools and some of them we've probably seen um, before. And this device I got at uh, one of the art conventions, I think the ACA convention had a couple of these and they were interesting because it has a sticky side to it and the strength of the stickiness will hold a full can of vegetables. So if I'm going to the grocery store and it extends, it's also telescoping. So if I'm at the grocery store and I need to pick up a can of beans or green beans, I can hold it with my chin or my foot and then suction up with the sticky stuff and it'll hold a whole can of beans and then I can put it in my, wow. put it in my cart. And this has been really useful for like grocery shopping or if something's stuck underneath the couch or if I want the remote that's across the room, I'll just extend it and like grab the remote. And so it's, it's been pretty useful. And this has been a fun item. I was looking for one of these everywhere. I think I got it off of Amazon, but it's basically just a piece of plastic and it's got a slit down the middle and I use it for opening soda cans. So I can slip it through the tab and then pop it up and I got an open soda can without having to use my teeth, which I was using before. I was using my teeth to open up my soda cans and it was kind of hard on my mouth. It's got a hole on the, on the end and I used this on, on my keychain and I carry it around with me. And so whenever I have a soda and I need to just pop a top, I, I've got this with me. So we've got a lot of tools here. I think we've covered a lot of ground on our daily lives and how we do things. Um, if you would like to see links to some of these items or description, go to the description bar and we'll have a list of all of these items if we can find them. And if you have suggestions for us or ideas of new tools that we could use and, and incorporate those in our life, let us know. So if you're interested in supporting more of these videos, go to patreon.com slash toe talks and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.